Hello and welcome. I'm Tim Callum again with another quick tip for Kofax Capture 8. Copy and paste, one of the many new features that have been added to Kofax Capture 8. What to do? Simply it allows administrators the ability to streamline the process of setting up form types, batch classes, folder classes, and even document classes. Let's take a look. Going to my system, I can open up the administration module and you'll see that I have several batch classes already created. I have one called Special Orders. And again, the copy and paste function allows me to copy and paste from existing objects, in this case a batch class, and it cuts down my workload from having to recreate all the steps again to create a batch class. Let me show you how this works. Right mouse click on a batch class, choose copy. Now I have the ability to paste that using the paste command. And when I click on the paste command, you'll see another version of that batch class show up with a different identification. And when I expand down that batch class, you'll see that it has a link to the existing document class and form type. Okay? Notice the same thing here in my existing batch class. Okay? Same document class is being linked to in both cases. Now, I also have the ability, once I copy a batch class, to paste a paste special feature. And in this case, I've got two radio buttons from which to choose. First one, paste with a copy of the original document class. This gives me slightly different behavior. When I choose that radio button and click OK, you'll see that in fact a new batch class is created and it's identified with a separate name, in this case Special Orders 2. But you'll now see that the document class is a new document class. It's not the same one that we saw previously. Okay? So our original has 09 Catalog Orders as the document class. This new one has 09 Catalog Orders 1. Now, let's go back to copy again. Let me copy my original batch class once again. And this time I'm going to choose a different paste option. Paste special, second radio button, paste with a link to the original document classes. This does exactly the same thing that my original paste did. All right? It allows me then to have a new batch class with a link to the original document class as I saw the first time. Now as I said, I can uh, copy and paste batch classes, document classes, form types. In this case, let's show you what we can do with a document class. So I right mouse click on my document class choose copy, make sure my mouse is over my batch class, right mouse click, choose paste, you'll see a new copy of that document class appear under that batch class with a new identification. So there's 09 catalog orders, there's 09 catalog orders too, a brand new document class existing underneath that batch class. And in fact, if I take a look at my document class tab, I see that there is in fact that new document class that's available for me to reuse in any number of batch classes. Let's go back to our batch tab and let's expand down and show you how you can copy zones. And this is where the, uh, another example of the real feature of this copy and paste feature comes in handy. Let's zoom in on one of my zones here, the city, the, the uh, ship to city zone. So I'm going to zoom in on that and I'm going to show you that I've got a zone that has some properties to it. Okay. It is a ship to city uh, index field. It's recognition, got auto recognition, ICR alpha box removal. If I want to now copy that zone and let's say recreate it as the ship to country zone, this is all I have to do. Right mouse click, choose copy, choose paste, and now I can reposition that zone over the ship to country area. Okay. Let's position it so you can see it. Draw focus to it, position it where I want it to be. Right mouse click, look at the properties. Okay, it's, it's identi identified with a new uh, field that was created. Let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close that. I'm going to go back into the document class. Right mouse click on the document class. Choose properties. There's that new uh, index field that was automatically created. Let's change that to ship to country. Change the label while we're at it so that the validation operator will see something slightly different, something more appropriate. All right. And now I've got a brand new index field with, or a brand new uh, uh, index zone with a brand new index field. Okay, click OK on that. When I click OK, automatic uh, uh, Cofax Capture will automatically pop open the release script, allowing me to add that new index field. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. Ship to country. There I am. Now I'm ready to release it. All right. Now let's go back in and take a look at our sample page and see what we did there. Go back to that zone, there it is. There's my ship to country zone. It's as easy as that. Check on the properties. Again, I've already got my recognition profile set up. I see our alpha box removal and the value will be associated with that ship to country index field. All right. 
Now another uh, tremendous power of this uh, copy paste is to be able to copy and paste multiple zones at one time. And a good example is if I had a group zone I wanted to replicate, I could simply highlight it, highlight that group zone, and again, right mouse clip, clap, copy and paste, and paste that group zone wherever it needs to be, cutting down greatly my workload in creating brand new zones. Hope you enjoy this quick tip on copy and paste. I'm Tim Callen and I'll see you in class.